So today we are solving question number 4 of chapter 1 of book IE Erodo. In the question, we have been given a graph which is representing the movement of a particle in a straight line. The position of the particle is shown on the y-axis and the time period at which it is at certain position is shown on the x-axis. The graph is further divided into 10 parts by 10 parts in the book, but for further convenience, I have divided it into 20 by 20 parts. So this is the position time graph. As we can see, there are three parts of the graph. These three parts can be shaded for convenience. The first part is the part at under which the particle is accelerating. The first shaded region is representing the time and distance up to which the particle was accelerating. The second part is shaded with dotted lines and is representing no acceleration zone which means that the particle is moving with constant velocity. The third part is again shaded with solid lines and is representing the area under which the particle was decelerating. The average velocity can be calculated by calculating the ratio of total distance covered to the total time taken. That is 2 meters in 20 seconds, which will give us 0.1 meters per second. To calculate the maximum velocity, we can simply get the ratio of difference of the y coordinates to the x coordinates in the constant velocity zone. Since it covers 0.5 meters in 2 seconds, the maximum velocity would be 25 centimeters per second. In that sense, the average velocity will also be 10 centimeters per second. To calculate the time moment at which the velocity of the particle will be equal to average velocity which will happen two times in the graph, one during acceleration and the other will be during deceleration which can simply be done by calculating acceleration first which can be calculated by simply getting the ratio of the difference of velocity to that of the time taken to reach the maximum velocity. Since the time taken is 12 seconds and the initial velocity was 0, so the acceleration will be 0.25 per 12. To get the time moment at which the particle will be at the value of average velocity, we can simply apply motion in one line formula, which is V is equals to V0 plus AT. Since V is equals to 0.1 meters per second and V0 is equals to 0, and acceleration is 0.25 per 12. After solving the equation, we will get t is equal to 4.8 seconds. Now during deceleration, we can look into the third part of the graph, where we have initial velocity of 0.25 meters per second and final velocity of 0 meters per second. And the time taken to, to do this is 6 seconds. Here, the acceleration can simply be calculated as was done previously, but this time its value will be negative since the particle is decelerating. Again applying motion in one line formulas using similar methodology as was done previously, we will get time which is equal to 3.6 seconds from the beginning of the third region. 14 seconds will be added to 3.6 to get the final value of 17.6 seconds. You can pause the video and note down the full solution.